Hey guys, it's Candace, and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, I want to share with you how to remove unbilled expenses that are sitting there and you want to just get rid of them. So the first step is a lot of people ask me, how does unbilled even happen? What's happening or how is build even happen? Right here, when you're writing a check, you're marking build. What that tells QuickBooks is that you, when you pick a customer, that that customer is going to owe you for this. You want to be able to bill them for that. You can either do it in time, you can do it in mileage, you can do it in expenses, in bills, all those different things. You're marking whether or not a customer is billable. So one way to find out if you have these is you go under reports, customers and receivables, and you'll have unbilled cost by job because each customer is a job. And you'll see these are all the unbilled. In this particular instance, we see under Candace Smith, which is a sample I created, so you'll see that the source is Candace Smith, that's the check, but the customer is Ron Berry. What you would do to remove that if you're up current with all your billing, that was an error, instead of going back and removing each one, the fastest way to get rid of it is to go into the customer center and create an invoice. And you're gonna pull up Ron Berry. And what's gonna happen is first an estimate is going to pop up. We're going to ignore the estimate. Then it's going to say, hey, you have items that are billable. And we're going to go ahead and select billable time and cost to add to the invoice. We're going to click OK. And up at the top, whether you have time, expense, mileage, or items that you want to be billing this customer, you'll notice they're in parentheses. What you want to do is go over, and you're going to see over here on the far right this little hide button. Instead of trying to create invoices and remove the invoices and do all that, you just select hide on all the items that you have. And when you click OK, it's not actually going to create an invoice. But what it is going to do is remove it from your unbilled cost by job report. So that's no longer sitting there needing to be billed. All right, so that's a quick and easy way to do it. Have an amazing day. I hope you guys enjoyed this tip. Don't forget to subscribe. If you need help with QuickBooks, feel free to check out Confidence with QuickBooks, my online course that takes you from the beginning to the end if you're a brand new user or you've been trying to figure out QuickBooks, but you've really been struggling trying to do it on your own. The course does come with support, so you can ask me questions and I answer them inside of the course, as well as if you enjoyed this tip and you'd like to receive them in your inbox, Feel free to go up above or down below and join with your email and I'll send them directly to you. And if you need help cleaning up your QuickBooks or fixing something and you want more of a private session, you don't need the full course, feel free to check out up above or down below. I'll have a link for my private sessions. Have an amazing day. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tip. Bye-bye.